you. So I just wanted to make a clarification of what we mean when we say starting three to five new conversations a day. So when you go into these conversations, I want you to clear your head of um, inviting them to a challenge group, talking about Beachbody, um, you know, even sharing your journey. Now, if it goes into that, that's awesome. That's a huge open door and opportunity for you to invite them to a challenge group. But if it doesn't, what those conversations are about is just reconnecting with them, okay? So if you create a list of people that you think, I want to reconnect with these people this week, and you pick those people, then, you know, take a week, take a couple days, really creep their Facebook page, and see what they have going on. See if there's anything that you can interact with, anything you can connect with, anything you can talk about. Even if not, you know, just shoot them a message and say, hey, how have you been? We haven't talked in forever. Um, you know, how's your kids doing? Do anything that you can do to reconnect with those people, okay? So when I say start three to five new conversations, that doesn't mean talk about Beachbody. That doesn't mean invite them to a challenge group. That means connect with them build a relationship with them, build up that trust. Now, if down the road that leads to an invite, awesome. If during your conversation that leads to you sharing your journey, great. But don't go into the conversation wanting to get it to that point because that's when you're gonna struggle with this. That's when you're not gonna enjoy talking to new people. I love talking to new people every single day. And what happens is when I connect with them, Facebook says, hey, Danielle's friends with this person, I'm going to start allowing her stuff to show up in their newsfeed. I guess you guys may not know that, but if you're not connecting with people online, if you're not commenting on their stuff or sending them personal messages, Facebook takes and it hides your posts from them. So every time that I connect with people, I know they're going to be start, they're going to start seeing my posts and vice versa. I'm going to start seeing their stuff too. So to me, I feel like just making that connection, maybe asking that simple question is now allowing um, the opportunity for my post to, to begin planting seeds with them um, and allowing them to actually see my stuff. So when you go into a new conversation, have the mindset that you just want to connect with them. You just want to build a relationship with them. Now, say your conversation never does get to sharing about Beachbody um, or it never does get to talk about, you know, what you have to offer or, or um, what's going on with your journey. Write their name down. Follow up with them next time you do a free group. Um, it's such a huge, and even if you do do a challenge group, follow up with them and be like, hey, you were on my mind. Um, you know, I know it's been a couple weeks since we talked, but I was thinking about you the other day, and this is what I have to offer, and I just wanted to know if you wanted a little more information about it. Um, I always think that a free group is a great way to really ease into that. Um, and even if, if, you know, if we don't have a free group going on, it's always an opportunity to follow up a couple weeks later and say, hey, um, I've been doing a lot of clean eating with my family and this recipe I tried at home, I was thinking about you the other day um, in the conversation we had and I didn't know if clean eating was something you were into, but I wanted to share this recipe with you. Send them a recipe. Try to be kind, guys. Build a relationship. Show people and give people value without asking for things in return. Build that connection. Give them, you know, build that trust. Um, they should always be your very first person that you turn to if you are doing a free group. Um, if you are sending somebody a recipe that day, you know, think about that person and let them know, hey, I was thinking about you. I wanted to send you this or I wanted to invite you to this. But really take the time to connect with them first. And so when I say start three, five, three to five new conversations a day, that's what I do. It's not me sending them a, hey, you want to join my challenge group? because I'm out of my warm market. When I'm talking to people that I haven't connected with in a while or my totally, my cold market, people that I don't even know, I'm never gonna send them that, that um, what I call a cold invite because we don't have a relationship yet and I really wanna make sure that I build and I earn their trust first. So my goal is to do three to five new conversations to reconnect, talk to somebody I haven't talked to maybe ever before um, or in a long time and just try to begin building their trust, not to send them an invite, not to talk about each body. Now, if that opportunity comes up, awesome. But if it doesn't, I don't want to take it there. I just want to connect with that person. And that's what you guys should be doing. This is a relationship building business. You guys, we want to be amazing coaches and this is how you do it.